This is News 5 Sports with Jake Gaiden. Good morning, everyone. We had high school hoops Saturday yesterday with refs versus cancer. All refs wearing pink yesterday to benefit cancer. We had a ton of good games. We start on the south side of the Springs with a rivalry game. It's Sierra hosting top-ranked Harrison. The Panthers trying to get back on track after losing two of their last three. The Stallions came out firing from three, though. Daly and Terry for the senior with the corner three. Then it's Josiah Bean getting it into it. Sierra going to be up four early. But if you want to make someone to take over a game, this is the dude you want. Dante Dawson, spin cycle, and the finish flex on him, dude. Then Dawson again. Check this out. Spot up three. Harrison back to their winning ways with the 42 to 33 win. Let's keep the same team, just move to Harrison High. Girls side, the Lady Stallions rock of the pink unis. I like it. The Lady Panthers down 17 with less than four minutes to play in the game. Amaya Moore going baseline, and the captain gets the baseline, Jay, to go. Then Moore again with the nifty up and under move. Harrison needed more of that yesterday. Down 13, but Sierra is ranked for a reason. Ariana Reyes off the fast break. She's going to get that to go. Then Kaylee Mileto. Great first step and even better drive to the 10 for two. Sierra going to roll 65 to 40 to win by 25. Some more girls hoops down I-25 South. Mesa Ridge hosting at Canyon City. Pick it up right before half. Tied at 15. Jordan Martinez. Pull up Jay right here. And the Lady Tigers take the early lead, 17 to 15. But right before the buzzer, Mesa Ridge's Talia Gibbs. Corner three and Canyon City enters, up, enters halftime up two. Then after the break, CC came out firing. Kale Tedquist, or Kaylee Tedquist, excuse me, with the steal. Maddie Lay with the finish. Then Jerrica Moore, spot up three. We call her a sharpshooter for a reason. Daga, Canyon City goes on to win 51 to 40. And the final game of the afternoon, or we got a couple more. Mitchell and Widefield at Widefield High. Some nifty passing by the Gladiators to start this one. Randall Days, the Dante Scott down low for the easy two. Mitchell right back, though. Tavares Washington with the cut and the up and under finish. Game tied at two. But Wyfield would start to pull away. Days for three. Four days. Then that's followed up by Timothy Mayborn. He has back to back threes. We call him a sharpshooter for a reason. Gladiators take it 86 to 43. And finally, we got a good one up. At Vanguard, they're hosting Lamar, the Savages. They're getting to the score early, the Savages are. Jimmy Clark, the big man, he can th hit the hit a three when he wants to, and he nods his head saying, yes, I can. But the CU commit, Dominique Clifford, right back. Give him all three of these, tie game. Then off the courser steal, Joseph Padilla, coast to coast with the finish. Lamar staying in it, though, with the 50 passing again. Clark, again, for three in the classic. Check this out. Let's go! But Vanguard, like I said, they're really good. They give and go doesn't work, but Clifford, the CU commit there for the cleanup on aisle 10. Coursers take it big.